There is a way to win against the darkness. But it isn't easy. It takes time and careful planning. So much that you couldn't do it in one lifetime, or even two. That's why we need to leave this world, to bring it to an end. To abandon the notion of time and what separates our worlds. All so we can defeat the darkness. Long, long ago, all the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. It all began here, in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies, in which was written the events to come. So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No, uh, um. Here, take it. In the master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. The Gazing Eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm, actually, no name. No name. Well, Gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on! You did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? 
What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. But why? You'll see. So, did you look through the book? Yes. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? They... I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. <laughs> it's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected, stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts? Yep, you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that faded land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But... What about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Well, if you want to give it a shot. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, good luck. So, to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. But without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is... It's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you want me to go? 
What? N no, of course not. <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, I see. Look, I get that change can be hard for everyone, but things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind all alone. Now that you know what the future holds, Envy, what does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do what your heart feels is right. Right. You been here long? My bad. No. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding! <laughs> I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just testing you. Uh, right. Now then. Allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well, Ira's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see. So, just stand by. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master. What do you mean Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying to... You really want to be leader, huh? I... well... I know you want it, but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You! Here's a huge promotion! Good job! And make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. Uh... I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. <laughs> then it's settled. Wait, I agree that he is worthy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well, I might disappear one day. Uh. <laughs> well... I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Right. You might not be entirely happy with your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Huh? Shall I elaborate? Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this, in which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs, and that is your true role. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. What's written in the last page of the book is gonna happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Hope? Master, what is it that you need me to do? 
don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. I understand. Master. Hmm. Oh. Um. Oh. Master. Oh, I see. If you're busy, mm. I can always come back later. Sure. Oh no 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 stay. Now where? Ah, here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. This is from the Book of Prophecies. But... Yep. It's a page that's not in any of your books. And what's written here is... You're wrong. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant! Way to steal my thunder, show off! Huh? It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius! I'm... sorry? But was my logic flawed? Oh, you were right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. Did you make this? It's so cute! Well, things are gonna get pretty hectic around here soon. But this spirit Chirithi is gonna make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Okay. Oh, right. Before I forget, if a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather, if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. No! I won't let you do that! <laughs> no wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm... Ugh! Don't insult me! Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. And so the reliable Era, who wore the mask of the unicorn, was given his role to take over for the master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake,
was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. The fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lu Xu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. This is where your story began. The story of your very own adventure. Five of the Master's apprentices armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. Then they set out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the monsters of darkness, they would gather light. Long ago, people lived in peace bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But, small fragments of light survived. In the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. Look deep inside your heart. This is where your journey begins. Banisher of darkness, gatherer of light, what is your name? How do you see yourself? Which union does your heart belong to?
the Keyblade holds the power of light, the power to drive away the darkness. You've managed to tap into the power of the Keyblade. Lesser Heartless won't stand a chance, but in order to defeat stronger foes, Huh? You must combine your strength with those who share your purpose and aspirations. Your friends will become your power. There are others who collect the light, but not all of them share the goal of bringing peace to the world. You must discover who amongst us walks the path of darkness. Pretty scary stuff, huh? But you get an A for effort. You look a little confused. Here's what's going on. Your pursuit of light made you the perfect candidate for a Keyblade wielder. Darkness is spreading, and it's up to you to use the weapon to get rid of it. Collect light, and in turn, save the world. The monster that was just defeated belongs to the darkness, and is called a Heartless. These Heartless scour the world searching for hearts, spreading darkness as they go. The Keyblade is an effective weapon against them. I hope this is all sinking in. Anyway, I was assigned by a certain someone to watch over a new Keyblade wielder. You! I'm Cherithy. I'll be supporting you the whole way, teaching you everything you need to know and more. Nice to meet ya. Right now, that Keyblade is just like you. It has room to grow. To unleash its true power, you'll need to use fragments, special metals that you can set in your Keyblade. Anyway, I know it's a lot to take in, so why don't you use the Heartless here for some practice? I know this is overwhelming, but darkness waits for no one. In fact, it's found its way to a bunch of other worlds, which need your help. I know a way to these places. Are you ready? We spent the next few months completing daily missions for our foreteller leader and the worlds of fairy tales. You used the growing power of your keyblade and metals to defend the citizens of these worlds from beings of darkness, usually in the form of creatures known as the Heartless. Defeating these Heartless would allow us to collect fragments of light, or Lux, that they had captured and we would bring that Lux back to our Union. Though, sometimes, it was a person that had become tainted by darkness that was the true threat to their world. The darkness often seems to target certain special humans that radiate light. But you never failed to be there when it mattered most and protected that light.
we won't go over all the details now, but I do remember some interesting conversations we had. It looks like quite a party. What's wrong? Why aren't you in there with everyone else? You look sad, but you know, you're not alone. You may not understand it yet, but no matter how far apart you are, your heart is always connected to your friends' hearts. There's no reason to be lonely. One day you'll see. Luckily, she wasn't lost to darkness. She's just fallen into a deep, deep sleep. Perhaps... No. You don't have that kind of power. Oh! The prince in Snow White's hearts must have been connected. That's why he showed up when he did. The bond between hearts is a strong, beautiful power. Maybe it's a power you have deep inside you. Pretending to be someone you're not never leads to happiness. It's something we all need to remember, even me. So you're really going. Remember where you are, the underworld. Wielding darkness may be the shortcut to power, but you might not be able to turn back once you head down that road. But in the end, what you do is up to you. I'm here to watch over you, that's all. Looks like you're getting the hang of that thing. Yup, you kind of look the part too. It's time you learn how this all came to be. The world was pure darkness. But I was born into a radiant world enveloped in a brilliant light. From within that light, my master gazed upon me and smiled. Before he disappeared, the one who made me bestowed names on his six apprentices and passed down the Book of Prophecies to five who came to be known as the Foretellers. The five read the manuscript and were shocked by the final entry. The Fated Land will be the battleground for a great war. Light will see defeat and expire, while darkness prevails evermore. They decided to draw on the powers of the book to prevent that from happening. The metals you're using are one of those powers. They harness unimaginable forces from the future to protect light and keep the world safe from inevitable darkness. As for the foretellers, you should know that they share the same goal, but they don't follow the same path. Don't lose sight of yours, okay? You're making amazing progress! I could tell you had potential from day one, but... What if I told you I had something to make you even stronger? 
Let's see here. Dun da da dun! Check out this power bangle. Yup, looks good. Moving on. With the help of the bangle, you'll be able to strengthen your medals even more. You can boost each medal a different amount. Try it out. Have fun with it. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. Come on, give it a shot. It won't be so bad. And the best part is, it's a gift. The bangle is yours to keep. Well, if you really want to do something in return, then... Just keep it equipped and continue to do what you're doing. I hope it'll motivate you to get out there and do even better. I knew I could count on you. Good luck! Huh? Well, well, another wielder. Have you heard? A new breed of Heartless has been spotted all over town. Sounds like they're a handful. We're thinking of splitting up and thinning them out. Care to help? We're all meeting back here when we're done with our share. Good luck out there. Hi, Cherithy. Hi, Cherithy. How's your wielder? Indifferent. Oh. I don't think they understand what's going on. They'll learn. They have to. You're right. There are only five unions. And we can't afford to lose any of them. Which is why we need to trust our wielders will flourish. He's not coming. But he left you a message. I'm sorry I couldn't keep our promise. That's it. Have to go. Hi, Cherithy. What's wrong? My wielder disappeared into darkness. Oh. Is this the end? We have a connection to our Keyblade wielders. If they disappear, so do we. Yeah. The wielders are gathering Lux at an extraordinary pace. However, the darkness is spreading even faster. Then, there really is a traitor among the five? I'm not willing to believe that yet. Right.
That must have been some dream. You were tossing and turning like crazy. Close your eyes and try to get some sleep. Was that you? Did you show him the dream? What is it you're trying to do? The opposite of what you're doing. I guess that makes us enemies. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I have to. There's a big scary monster in one of our park, Koopo! It's frightening away all my customers! If I had to close up shop, my regulars would be lost, Koopo! Can you go and take care of it, please, Koopo? <sighs> uh, yeah. ha. Come on! Uh, I'm alright. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I got a little cocky. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am Ephemer. I belong to the Union Vulpus. Nice to meet you. I'm Damien, from the Union Unicornus. Looks like we're on different teams. Mm hmm. Hmm. But, I'm working on something other than my union task today, so think of me as union free for the day. Huh. Hmm... I guess I could tell you what it is. Since you helped me out, can you keep a secret? The worlds we visit? The worlds of fairy tales are nothing more than holograms. You know, projections? The light we collect there is actually this world's light. <sighs> um, to put it simply, there are lots of worlds, right? And they're all connected by land, but it's impossible to go around to all of them. That's why there's a mechanism that projects those worlds here, and allows us to collect lux from faraway lands. Mm -hmm. I'm gathering information, trying to figure out how the whole thing works. My hunch is that the Book of Prophecies held by the Foretellers is what's creating these holograms. Uh, Get it? Or have I lost you? Hmm. <laughs> Good! Anyway, we're in this town, gathering the light that belongs to this vast world. Not just gathering, fighting over it, without knowing why. After a little digging, I discovered that all the Unions have different goals. Hmm. <gasps> hmm? What is it? Really? Interesting. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you come with me? Mm hmm. <laughs> Great! Then let's head to the place you saw in your dream. Mm hmm. Is he yours? I don't know. Is he? You're not the same color you were before. Very perceptive. So, what's your next move? He's getting closer to the truth. Are you going to allow that? So, you don't know where the room is? Mm -mm. <sighs> I've been here a few times, 
but I haven't found a way in. <sighs> Alright, let's split up, and see if we can get inside somehow. <laughs> There's a traitor among us. Are you certain? What proof do you have? I found this sniffing around. Is that... a dark charity? Uh, is that... a nightmare? <gasps> it's not me! There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. Unfortunately, there are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Yeah, in that case, who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However... I believe those tools... were the Nightmare's doing. The Bengals? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine. But using that power... is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh no. Everyone's already equipped their bangles. So what now? How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as those bangles couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I believe it's one of us here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully disagree. What proof do we have that the bangles are tied to the power of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame? We shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Ira, some leader you are, you've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What, did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? <laughs> that was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. It looks to me like the Master made the wrong choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I hope... I hope we can all resolve this soon. That didn't go as expected. What's wrong, Ira? This isn't like you. A lost page. Something's missing from our Book of Prophecies. Each of our copies... were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident... well, it's nowhere to be found. And how does this whole thing with the traitor tie together? Like I said, it's nowhere to be found. In my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and a page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned. That they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Trust me. There seems to be no record of it in my book either. You may be onto something. I wonder, could this have been the Master's plan all along? To grant the lost page to only one of us? We have no way of knowing. 
The master is gone. I understand what you're saying. I promise to keep a close eye on the others. I will keep you informed, as always. Thanks. Of course. After all, that is what the master asked of me. And Ira, may your heart be your guiding key. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Other than the entrance, this is the only place that connects outside. Be careful, there's a fair share of Heartless around here. Huh? Go! <laughs> now we're even. Mm -mm. Whoa! Huh? Wait. I think we should come back later. It's taken us this long just to find a way in. Uh, think about how much longer it'll take for us to enter the tower and find the room. It's gonna look suspicious to our union leaders if we're missing for too long. We know how to get in now. Let's save the rest for another day. Hmm? Mm-hmm. We may not be in the same union, but we're friends, right? <laughs> Let's meet tomorrow at Fountain Square. How about noon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was wrong about Ira. I thought he would make a great leader, but he'd let me down. Well, what do you two think? You don't believe what Ira said, do you? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Inby said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe there's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us! How dare he look at us with suspicion! We're his comrades! I wouldn't call us comrades. Anyway, could you get to the point? I know you didn't call us here just to complain. I want the three of us to form an alliance. But alliances are forbidden, I said. I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So, we join forces, then confront Ira? Confronting him is pointless. Ira won't change his mind. I know there's darkness at work. There's no question. But, I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's just wasting time trying to figure out who the traitor is. But darkness won't wait, and neither should we. We need to band together now, and find a way to fight it! Hmm. Guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions? That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my union members involved. Gula! I want... I want to follow the Master's teachings. Understood. That's your choice to make. You should do whatever you feel is right. Yeah. By the way, Asen, do Ira and Inbi know? I haven't talked to Ira about it for obvious reasons, but I did ask Envy to join us. You wanted to see me? Uh, Gula, Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. I want an alliance among our unions. Gula here has already agreed. Will you join us, and together we and can- And disobey the Master's teachings? We don't have a choice! 
darkness is approaching and we need to combine our strength to stand against it. The Master bestowed each of us with a different role and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. Perhaps it's you who has been tainted by darkness. I'm tainted by darkness? Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You really think you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. To observe us, yes. But not to disclose everything we say and do to Ira. That's... For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough. When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Alva! Oh, hello. Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh-huh. Why the long face? Did something happen? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? About why the unions compete against each other instead of working together. Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. And as such, we must obey. The Master said so. So it is. But lately, I've really started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well, I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Ah. Hmm. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. If you say so. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. <sighs> you know, I made a friend from another union today. I wasn't much of a talker, maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. <sighs> well, it was nice talking to you. I don't know what's got you down, but please cheer up. Thank you. If the worst happens, I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. My dandelions. Envy, have you learned something? It seems Ased and Gula's unions are now allied. So Ased is the traitor after all? No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To Ased, unification is a means of gathering strength to oppose the darkness. So I believe his heart still belongs to the light. Even so, forming alliances was strictly forbidden by the Master. Yes, and his teachings are absolute. That's why I will try and persuade Gula to dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No. Please, let me do the talking. Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Ased's anger. 
All right. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing. Aset has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. Someone looks happy. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> you made a new friend? That's great! No wonder you're smiling. I hear having friends is nice. But I wouldn't know, because I don't have any. <clears throat> huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you? You're my friend? What's written in the last page of the book is gonna happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Hope? Master, what is it that you need me to do? Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava. You're the only person for this. I understand. And then, after all that. Union leaders? When all said and done, and only the dandelions are left, they'll need to lead the unions. Is there a need to maintain the unions? Of course! Getting rid of them would be like poo-pooing all your hard work. Besides, other than the five new union leaders, no one else is going to know that the world... Well, you know. What? There's no point for anyone to carry around knowledge of such a catastrophic event. I want everyone to start over in a different world with a clean slate. Uh, well, to their knowledge, of course. You can do that? Apparently so. Here. Take a look at these five names. They're your new recruits. Make them all dandelions. And when the time comes, teach them their roles. Um, why is this one circled in red? Jackpot! That lucky wielder gets their own free copy of the Book of Prophecies. <gasps> the book? Yeah, it's a great read, don't you think? Oh, and it's also needed to shape the world into what it's supposed to be. That sounds awfully risky. Only if the other four get their hands on it. Ava, this book needs to be handed to its owner in secret. No one else can know. All right. We cannot avoid the end. Not even the masters, including myself, are likely to survive. Me? A master? A union leader? That's crazy! And what's this nonsense about the end? There isn't much time left. You are the ones who will remain. Someone needs to keep everything and everyone in order. Otherwise, light will expire. But... I'll select four others from the Dandelions. The five of you will each lead a union, as the five of us have. You won't be alone in this. The five of you can work together. The five of us...
There are rules the five of you must obey when you become leaders of your own unions. I'm listening, but this whole conversation about the end and leading unions and all... I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. As long as you keep listening. <sighs> okay. What I need you to do is to prepare the other world. I'll be sending all the dandelions there soon. You'll continue living your lives, but without the impending doom. So, it's like an alternate reality? Yes, but in order for it to work, the dandelions will need to forget all about the strife. The war. So they won't remember any of it? There's no need for them to remember such a tragedy. It'll simply be a burden. Only the five of you will know the truth. The charity of each wielder will make it happen. It might be a burden, but isn't it better they remember the past? The past is what makes the future. I thought you might say that, but I wonder if you would feel the same if you were there to witness the end. Sorry, Damien. Have you been here all day? Huh? Come on, let's head home. Look, I'm sure something important came up. Huh. A friend always keeps their promise. Maybe he had an emergency. You should give him the benefit of the doubt. Don't be sad. When you're sad, it makes me sad too. After all, we're friends, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yep. Whoa! <laughs> sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry, I really am. There was something important I had to take care of. I hope you can forgive me. Are you still up for our adventure? Huh. Uh, huh. It's just up ahead. Are you with me? Uh... Ah, you're not ready yet. I had a feeling that might be the case. I'll be waiting, Damien. Have another dream? Hmm. It was about your friend, wasn't it? You want to go search for him in the tower? No way! Mm. Only the foretellers are allowed there. Besides, now is not a good time. I can't go into detail, but the foretellers. Well, lately they've been disagreeing on a few things. Let's just say you should steer clear of that tower for the time being. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. Are you even listening? Wait! Where are you going? I heard something interesting. It seems one of the masters is recruiting Keyblade wielders with potential. I believe it's Master Ava, the one in the fox mask. These days, I see her on the plaza all the time. 
the kid with the silver hair, right? I saw him talking to Master Alva the other day. I have a friend who knows the master pretty well. Unfortunately, he's off completing a task in Agrabah. I don't know when he'll be back. Why don't you go and find him yourself? Hi, what brings you out here? Huh? You were looking for me? So, you want to know about Master Ava? I can't tell you much, except that I see her around the tower a lot. I don't know how to get inside, but there has to be a way, right? Master Ava! You're Damien. Uh-huh. Why are you here? Ephemer. Yes, I know him. But you still haven't answered my question. You came to find me because of some rumor? You had a dream. I see. Ephemer said he was waiting for you in your dream, but this place is restricted. So you thought that he may have gotten caught up in the problems that we foretellers have been having lately. And because someone saw us talking the other day, you thought that maybe I had something to do with it. Hmm, you're honest. I like you. You're not too far off base, but I can't tell you much else right now. Huh? Master Ava! Show me what you can do. Show me your strength. Not bad. I see a lot of potential in you. But I also see sadness in your heart. Hanging on to it will eventually lead to darkness. You need to somehow let it go. With this little one helping you, you'll be fine. Now, go home. And I'm sorry, but this area is strictly off limits, alright? So, it's you. You're the friend he told me about. That was one doozy of a day. Bet you didn't think you'd end up having to fight a foreteller. I'm sorry. But it wasn't fun for me either, you know. What? Master Ava, what are you doing here? Please, call me Ava. Did you show him the dream of Ephemer? No, that wasn't me. Hmm. Then perhaps it was Ephemer himself. Huh? How is that possible? Ephemer is getting very close to the truth. He's fallen into an unchanged state. And Neil finds himself in a different realm. From that realm, I believe he tried reaching out to him. If they connected, even in a dream, that means he's getting closer to that realm too. Whether he continues down that path is up to his own heart. Chirithi, you have to protect Damien from the nightmares, so the wind can carry him far away from here. Like you could use a change of scenery, kiddo. And what timing? Because another world needs your help.
he wasn't very friendly, was he? But he helped defeat the Heartless, so maybe he's not all bad. This isn't the warmest welcome we've ever had, though. By the way, do you remember what Master Rava said? That's right. The sadness in the heart leads to darkness. There might be sadness in his heart, too. At any rate, You've seen Heartless in this world. This isn't the time to be sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. You gotta break out of here. Uh... The door is locked? Oh well, I'm sure there's something you can do. <laughs> Hold it! I hear someone! I'm sure you've already noticed, but... She's the precious light of this world. fantastic job lately. So, I have a present for you. Dun 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 dun! The bracelet of light! I'm glad you're excited, but gee, calm down. Why don't you put it somewhere for safekeeping? With that bracelet, you can protect yourself against darkness. You'll need it for the special mission we got from the foretellers. You'll be doing the same thing, you know, dealing with monsters. Just in a different, darker place. Your mission is to defeat the Heartless in the Corridor of Darkness. But be careful, that bracelet can only protect you for so long. I knew I could count on you, kiddo. Now go and get him. I'm rooting for you. You were great in there, kiddo. Let's call it a day, but you never know when we'll get another mission like this, so be prepared. I see. They've made great progress. E excuse me. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it was a little early for him to take on this mission? I have no choice but to hasten their training. They must strengthen their resistance to the darkness as quickly as possible. Why? The darkness is drawing near. We need as many warriors as we can get on our side. The side of light. 
What a perfect day to go out and gather lux. Ready when you are, kiddo. I think I'm done. Done with what? <laughs> the Alliance. I think it's time to call it quits. For what reason? To put it simply, I entered this Alliance thinking we were preparing to fight some impending darkness, but it hasn't come. In fact, there haven't been any suspicious incidents recently, and you haven't rallied anyone else to your cause. Yeah, but... This alliance is meaningless. Even Envy agrees. Oh! Envy? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find out. Is Envy the one who told you to break our alliance? Uh, maybe. But I'm the one who decided to do it. And I've already told you why. But we don't even know who the traitor is yet! And that's exactly why. I just can't trust anyone but myself. Don't you realize you won't stand a chance against the darkness on your own? Sorry, my mind's made up. Envy. You will regret this. You did great out there, champ. I know it's a tough job. But, someone's gotta do it. I know, I know. But if you give up now, the other unions will get ahead. But why does that matter? Hmm? 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 It's not a competition. Or at least, it shouldn't be. Our goal of protecting the light is the same. There's no need for us to fight. Who are you? <laughs> the name's Skuld. You're Damien, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Ephemer told me all about you. Huh? <laughs> Don't look so surprised. He used to be in my party, you know. We met not long after I became a Keyblade wielder. There was never a dull moment with him around. But then one day, he just quit. I was really upset about it for a while. But then he showed up in my dream the other night and told me to find you. Why? Uh, good question. I was actually hoping you could tell me. See, I don't really understand why he was in my dream to begin with. But he asked me to go with you. So here I am. He was in your dream too? What'd he say? Hmm. If he's waiting for you, then... <sighs> Why don't we go to the place you're supposed to meet him? No way! Master Ava told us to stay away from there! Well, there has to be a reason she said that. And I have a feeling it's the same reason Ephemer asked me to go with you. So let's get moving. Oh. Oh. What was that? Huh? It came from nearby. <sighs> let's go, Damien. <laughs> uh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> uh, 
The foretellers. Oh, no. Why are they fighting? Ephemer was right. It's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Just before I woke up, he told me. The end of the world is near. Huh? The end? Yeah. After what we just saw, I can't help thinking it's true. This world will disappear, just like Ephemer did. Let's go. Huh? What? Lead the way. Oh, wait, what? Hmm. What just happened? It's been over a year since the Master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role. So conceited. I'm protecting the balance, just like the master told us to. You need to come to your senses. <sighs> if we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. We need to defy the master's teachings to protect the world! You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. I won't let the world fall into darkness! You fool! Over here! Envy! Asad! What's going on? I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. No, that's not true! Ava! There's no time to lose! Be my guiding key. You? A long time no see. So it is you. You don't look very happy to see me. Come on, I was just trying to help. I thought if I took away everyone's locks, there'd be no reason to fight over it anymore. Aren't I the greatest? That color. You like my new look? You've been tainted by darkness. 
Darkness? What's wrong? Do you hate darkness? Well, let me tell you a little secret. Light and dark are two halves of the same coin. They're like day and night. One can't exist without the other. So you should embrace it, like they did. You mean those three used to be human? You betcha. Uh, oh. Were they wielders too? Right oh, but unlike you, those three can no longer use the power of metals. The strength they fought you with was all their own. To be perfectly honest, they were pretty wimpy before. But darkness has a way of finding those with weak hearts and making them strong. Isn't darkness so sweet? Those aren't the teachings. Teachings, sneechings. The truth of this world isn't something you can teach, Jirithi. It's something you have to learn for yourself. Who is your wielder? Where are they? <laughs> Closer than you think. Trust no one but myself. want to know what my role is? Huh? The books we were given are incomplete. There's a lost page. Lost page? On that page, it is written that there is a traitor. The master told me to find and stop that person. I called you my comrade. But never again, Gula. It doesn't matter to me if you think I am the traitor and you want to strike me down. You knew there was a traitor and you just watched silently as we fought each other. And I won't forgive you for that. You can barely stay on your feet. Just give up already. Don't you underestimate me! Did it have to come to this? Finish me off and make it quick. Huh. 
That's not what brought me here today. I wish to fulfill the role bestowed upon me. That's all. It isn't our place to try to change the events of the future. That is not our mission. We're here to make sure that light lives on. With only five lights, we can't afford to lose any. You still count me as one of the five lights? Of course. <laughs> only you could be such a good guy after everything we've been through. But hey, I guess that's one of the reasons I respect you so much. However, we still might only be four. <laughs> I'm talking about Gula. He's using the knowledge of something called the Lost Page. <laughs> he said that it contains events that are missing from all of our books. He's using it to discover and apprehend whoever is the traitor. Claims that's his role. But who knows what his real intentions are. What I do know is that I'll never forgive him for hiding the fact that he knew someone would betray us. That's the biggest betrayal of all. I'd like to believe the Gula was simply carrying out his role. Asad, I'll deal with this matter. Please keep it to yourself for now. Understood. I need to see that lost page. Is this where you last met with Ephemer? Mm-hmm. There has to be something up ahead. Huh? Are you sure this is a good idea? Between those three weirdos and that dark Cherithy, I don't have a good feeling about this. You know your way around the tower, don't you? Y yeah why do you ask? Well, I was hoping you could show us the way. I, I suppose I could, but this area is off limits, so once you get a quick peek, we're out of here, okay? Mm hmm. <laughs> Got it. What is this place? This is the final room. The foreteller's chamber. Hmm. Do you think Ephemer was here? I don't know. But there's no one here now. And nothing to see. Can we go now? Hmm. I guess. I was just expecting... More. It's kind of a letdown, really. I wonder what's so important about this place. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh. Oh. Master Eva. We're so sorry. We were just looking for someone. Chirithi, I expected more from you. You know this area is off-limits. Uh, I'm sorry. I caught another wielder in here just the other day. A friend of yours? Yes, he is. So he was here. Did you talk to him? Yes. But you must know his union gathers Lux for a reason that contradicts ours. He befriended you to get his hands on information, nothing more. But he is a threat no longer. Huh? Did you... is Ephemer? He's gone. <gasps> Damien. 
How could you? What are you going to do? Nothing. Master Ira, this is my fault. All of it. They didn't do anything wrong. Damien. This whole thing was my idea. I was the one who wanted to look for Ephema, and for good reason. You see, I've gone to different worlds to gather Lux. A lot of effort has gone into the contributions to my union. I've even had to fight those I consider my friends. I've done everything that was expected of me without a second thought. And... Then I met Ephema. We didn't know each other for very long, but he left a lasting impression. Not all of our memories are good ones. In fact, he even broke one of our promises. No matter what happened, I knew we were still friends. But you took him away from me. I feel sad, I feel angry, I feel hurt. Maybe that means I have darkness in my heart, I don't care. But I can't let you get away with what you did to my friend. Even if I have to fight you, even if I don't stand a chance, even if I may disappear. I will. Because I know in my heart that Ephma would do the same if he were here. Master Ira, I mean no disrespect, but this is something I must do. <laughs> so be it. Congratulations. You fought admirably. Huh? Master Ava? Damien, Skuld, thank you for showing me the strength of your hearts. I hope you'll forgive me for deceiving you, but the foreteller you fought, the room you were in, we're both merely projections. But why? What was the point? It's as Ephemer stated in your dream. The world will soon end. But if all wielders disappear along with it, there will be no one left to drive away the ensuing darkness. So, we must prevent this at all costs. My role in all of this is to gather wielders with great potential, regardless of their unions. They must survive for the world after. The world after? This is also... I, I don't understand. So what happened to Ephemer? Ephemer must have caught wind of the fact that there was more to everything than what he'd been taught, so he started questioning things. He went looking for the truth because he knew there was one to be found. That's how I knew he was the one. The one I could count on to lead the dandelions in my stead. Dandelion? They're a special group of Keyblade wielders that will remain after the rest of us are gone. It was my role to put the dandelions together. But I have to be there when the inevitable events unfold. So, I need someone to replace me when I'm gone, and I chose Ephemer. He accepted, and now he's far away from here, waiting. So then, he's alright? <laughs> yes, he's fine. However, this world is not. There is a wielder who has been corrupted, and the Chirith you saw earlier is proof of that. I want the world to come to be filled with light. That's why only wielders with a strong resistance to darkness are chosen as dandelions. So, I ask both of you, will you join us? Huh? 
Mm-hmm. Of course, Master Ava. Thank you. Uh, uh huh. Damien? What'll happen to the others? The ones who aren't chosen? They will have no choice but to fight in the Keyblade War. The Keyblade War? I'm afraid it's inevitable. May I take some time to think about my decision? Uh, Damien! Of course. Take all the time you need. This decision is yours to make, and you should do what feels right. I just ask that you keep this to yourselves. I'm afraid the future is a very... sensitive subject. Mm -hmm. Damien, what's holding you back from joining the Dandelions? You get to see Ephemer again! Ephem is my friend, and he's important to me. But so is everyone else, and I can't just abandon them. I understand. Can I share a story? When I became a Keyblade wielder, I was so excited. I even made my own party, but no one wanted to join it. Finally, after what seemed like ages, Ephemer did. For a long time, it was just the two of us. But as time passed, others joined us, and we spent all our time gathering as much lux as possible. With our busy schedule, Ephemer and I spoke less and less until one day he turned to me and said, Scold, you'll be alright on your own now. And then he left. I continued to collect Lux with my party members, but I guess people started to lose interest. One by one they left, until one day, it was just me again. And you know what? Ephemer was right. I was fine on my own. I never forgot about him, though. And I know he never forgot about me either, because he led me to you. You helped me see so much. Thanks, Damien. Now I just have to thank Ephemer, and the only way to do that is to join the Dandelions. Thanks for everything. Something wrong? I know Gula's here. What? Tell me where he is. But why? What are you going to do? None of your concern. <laughs> Don't. What? I won't let you near him. So that's it. All right. I'll go. Gola, what are you doing? Something happened? Ira was here. He wanted me to give you up. I knew it. It's finally come to this. Come to what? Everyone wants to know about the lost page. The lost page? Yeah. It's a page the Master gave me. It doesn't exist in any of our books. It contains a passage about an inevitable betrayal. It talks about... The one who bears the sigil. 
That's it. So, I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. My role is to find out who it is. I suspected a said and went to confront him. <laughs> and look what happened. Why are you telling me this, Gula? I have enough to think about keeping with the Master's teachings and my role. Always walking the straight and narrow. I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. Everything in the passage is ambiguous at best. That's why. I need to find out. But how? By asking the Master. But he's not here anymore. I'm going to summon Kingdom Hearts. What? Then he'll have no choice but to come back. Summoning Kingdom Hearts is forbidden! That's exactly why! The only way to get him back is to break the rules. If things don't change, the entire world is doomed. But, in order to go through with it, I'll need Lux. I don't have nearly enough. You always do the right thing. Help me with this. I'm sorry. I know you want the Master to return. But you don't know how summoning Kingdom Hearts will affect the rest of the world. The Master... He forbid it for a reason. I'm afraid I can't help you. I see. May your heart be your guiding key. Why did you tell Ira? It had to be you, because you were the only one who knew where we were hiding. Didn't you think for a second that your actions could be making things worse than they already are? And why should that even bother you? Not only do you have your union, but you've also gathered the finest Keyblade wielders from other unions, and you're training them in a secret location, aren't you? Yes, because that is my role! I had no idea. I apologize. I overstepped. No. I shouldn't have snapped at you either. What did Ira want? I don't know exactly. He just asked me to give up Gula. His eyes... They were... Scary. I was worried he'd do something awful. I knew I couldn't tell him where Gula was, then... He turned around and walked away. I see. And Gula? How was he doing? I don't know. He's gone. Ghoul is on a mission to collect Lux. Ah. That explains why Ased and Ira are as well. They're trying to maintain the balance. But... That isn't the balance we were expected to keep. If everyone's collecting light... Solely for themselves... Keyblade wielders will soon turn against one another. Which will lead to... The Keyblade War. And what's written in the book... All of it will happen. Light will expire. Envy, what are you going to do? I'll gather Lux too. No matter what, the balance must be kept. Ava, you do the same. We must... delay the inevitable. Right.
Today you're here to continue with your training for our mission. This session may seem like it's familiar to you, but in a world that is different, one made of dreams. You are our hope. A war will soon wage. Those who strive to protect the light will turn their weapons on their allies for the sake of loyalty to their own unions. To be honest, I don't know how far I can guide all of you. What you must remember is that anyone can lose themselves to the darkness. However, there will be no winners. Everything will be lost. Except all of you who are the seeds of hope. When the time comes and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. This training is to help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands, as is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key. I thought the world's end would be a horrible sight. Not again. Don't get involved. I know it's frustrating, but you can't fix everything. Everyone seems to have a bone to pick. I hope things don't get any worse. Huh? Damien! Wait! We're all on the same side! Are we? Then why did you steal our Lux? What are you talking about? We're just trying to protect the light. I'll bet good money that it's your union that's fallen into darkness. Traitors! What did you say? How can you prove you're not the traitor? Hold on! We're all on the same side! Why are you fighting? Mind your own business! <laughs> Stop it! School! Who are you? What union do you belong to? It doesn't matter. Our only enemy is darkness. Our Keyblades aren't meant to harm one another. Anyone who tries to steal the light is no different than a monster of darkness! <sighs> what?! The war's already begun. <sighs> That's right. We can only place trust in our own unions. We cannot tell who has fallen into darkness with a mere glance. Why do you fight over Lux? Light is not proof of strength. Victory is proof of strength. And a strong union is proof of justice. Uh, what? Do you disagree? Aren't you one of Ava's chosen wielders? One of the Dandelions? You, of all people, should be able to see that she's using her special union to demonstrate her power. I don't belong to the Dandelions. Which union do you belong to? Unicornus. Stand ready.
You're not worthy of the Keyblade. That's enough, I said. Era. You bring harm to a Keyblade wielder and call yourself a master? <laughs> it was merely a test. Was it? Your hostility is why I'm here. The war is coming. Envy, Gula, Ava, and even you, Ira. Your unions are all scrambling to gather more lux than any other. Look around you. The strife has already begun, and you four have done nothing but fuel the flame. And you elect to resolve this with brute force? Ultimately, the strong determine the world's future. While others gather lux, I will recruit a legion. Backed by a powerful organization, a single leader can maintain the world's balance. The four of you will be banished, and I will lead the unions in your stead. You're a fool to think you have that kind of power, said. You overestimate yourself. Then let's settle this on the battlefield. Master Ira. The battlefield? What's about to happen? What fate intended. So Master Ava was telling the truth. Yes, the war is inevitable. But... She said there would be no winners. So why fight? To make certain, there are no winners. Prepare yourselves. Uh, Damien! I have a secret. This is my favorite spot that nobody knows about. It belongs to me, Strelitzia. These past two years, I fought darkness to protect the light. I made friends, but I also had to say goodbye. I saw new party members come and go. Only a few of my friends from the beginning are still around. A lot has changed over time, but there's always been one constant in my life. You. I first saw you at Fountain Square. You were waiting for someone, but they never came. When I returned from my mission that day, you were still there, waiting. You looked so disappointed. I saw your eyes well up as you hugged your Chirithi. Since that day, I began to see you everywhere. It was strange, because we must have crossed paths so many times before. But I didn't really notice you until that day. say hi, but I could never muster up the courage. Well, 
while everyone else was going about their days without question, you began to doubt your mission, your purpose. You saw there was something more, something we weren't being told. You don't know me, but I feel like I know you. I hope that one day we can be friends. There's so much I'd like to tell you. Strelitzia. Master Ava. I need to ask a favor. It's something only you, a dandelion, can help me with. Me? Uh, are you sure? I need you to listen carefully. It won't be long before this world. Me, a union leader. What a great honor. Yes. But it's also a great responsibility. I have faith in Master Ava. Me too. But what she said about the world, could that be true? It's a scary thought, isn't it? Only the dandelions will survive. That means everyone else will disappear. I suppose you're right. But your friends are all dandelions. Why are you so worried? They are, but what about everyone else? I know you care, but what do you think would happen if you told everyone the truth? The world is nearing its end and the foretellers will disappear. No one would believe you. No, they wouldn't. Oh! Whoa! Well, what is it? He's not a dandelion! What? Who? Oh, that Keyblade wielder you're always watching. I have to tell him! But how will I find him? It's so dark out. What do I do? Hello? Are you okay? What? I thought... I'm going to wake up early and wait for him at Fountain Square. But Master Ava told you not to say a word to anyone. I'm gonna recruit him to the Dandelions. I won't say a word about anything else. Good night. I'm not sure I like this. Is this... Who? Hey? What is going on? Huh? Whoa, is that? Should I be worried? It was pretty rough. Thanks for being here, Scold. Mm -mm. You don't need to thank me. I just can't believe how bad things have gotten. Everywhere I go, people are arguing with each other. I know. Even the Masters. Well, we all saw what happened. They used to work together, but now, I don't know how or why, but somehow, things change. Then I suppose there really is no escaping the war. Uh, did you...? Uh. Oh! Uh, you're awake! What a relief! Did you find Ephema? Not yet, but I know he's somewhere carrying out Master Ava's wishes. As for me, I'm trying to convince people not to take part in the battle to come. But most of them don't even believe that a war is coming. What's more, Master Ava's absence is causing the Dandelions to lose their focus. Mm. Where is she?
No one's seen her around lately. Maybe Master Gula knew something. The two were close. Ugh. Then let's go talk to him. No, you need to rest. We don't have time. Hmm. You're right. But... It's all right, Chirithi. If you say so. Hmm. Is this the way? It should be. I heard Master Gula is seen around here more than the tower. <sighs> this is it. But I don't know if he's here. Let's find out. Sorry, I need to go. What? It's awfully quiet. Looking for someone? <laughs> Master Gula! A wielder who's not out collecting lux. That must make you a dandelion. Yes, that's right. Are you looking for Ava? We are. Why? To ask her if she can do something so we can avoid the war? Not even she has the power to do that. Or do you plan on asking her what's going on? Knowing won't change anything. There's nothing you can do. But I can't just sit back and wait for the end to come. I need to warn people what's coming. That's my role as a dandelion. I can see why she chose you. You were just like her. Always doing the right thing. Hmm. But doing the right thing can't save the world. Only the master has that kind of power. The Master? Chirithi must have told you about him. The five of us foretellers were disciples of the Master of Masters. If anyone has a shot at changing anything, it's him. Where can we find him? I knew you'd ask. But I don't know. He just disappeared one day. Me and Ava searched for him, but he vanished without a trace. There's only one person who might know where he is. Lushu. Master Lushu! You know who that is? The Master of Masters, Sixth Disciple. After the Master disappeared, so did Master Lushu. So, you don't know where Master Lushu is either? I knew that was coming too. You really are just like Ava. Then, Master Ava is... Looking for Lushu? Yeah, in order to find the Master. There you are, Lushu. Oh, it's you. What have you been doing all this time? Watching. What? That's my role. What did the Master ask you to do? Watch. Huh? He asked me to watch. What do you mean? I wasn't given a copy of the book like the five of you. Instead, I need to make my way to the future as written in that book. I'll witness the end of this world and go on to the next. What? You're searching for a way to avoid the war, right? That's why you were looking for me, hoping I could lead you to the master. Sorry, but I can't help you. This world is meant to end. Lushu, what do you know? What's written on the lost page? The page none of you have in your books. The page on which the master's intentions are inscribed. 
His intentions? Are you implying that he wanted this? This chaos, this war? My role is to carry the secret with me. And to do that, events need to play out just as they're written on that page. The Master isn't interested in this world and what's to come. He's observing, doing what it takes for me to fulfill my role. Tell me, what's written on that page? Lushu, are you responsible for all of this? Are you... are you the traitor? Good news! I saw him over there! Thanks! Hey, wait for me! A union leader, Gilly. Stralizia, wait! Imbalance observed, strength misplaced, a future filled with sorrow. Words of truth misunderstood as they explore the secrets of tomorrow. What's that from? The lost page. Who could this be pointing to? No. You asked for the truth, so there it is. Now that you know who the traitor is, can you accept it? That... that can't be true. Then follow your fate and fight. If there's another solution, it'll become apparent after the war is over. Has it occurred to you that maybe the Master wasn't so concerned about the world's future? But how we, his disciples, would let our hearts guide us? Are you saying his interest was in us all along? That's ridiculous! Lushu, you're interpreting the Master's words in your own way. This can't be what he wanted! Why are you telling us this? The traitor is a catalyst for the events that lead to the world's end. What? I thought I knew who it was, but I couldn't stop them. And who knows? I could have been wrong. Words of truth misunderstood as they explore the secret of tomorrow. What could it mean? There's more. With a single strike, toll the bells, and herald the end, bringing war upon us as fate did intend. <laughs> Are you allowed to tell us such a significant passage from the book? No. But does it even matter? Knowing what I told you won't change anything. <gasps> and there it is. The bells. You should head back. The union leaders will probably call for an assembly. I'm going to go join the other dandelions. Won't you come with me? I understand. But please, don't take part in the war. I want you to come with us to the world outside. Ephemer would want that too. Think about it. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, let's go home. Chirithi. What is it? What happens to you if I disappear? Um... You disappear too. Mm-hmm. Oh. What do you think I should do? I don't want you to fight. I know the foretellers didn't intend for us to be friends. 
and it might be against the rules, but here we are. And as your friend, I don't want you to disappear. Thank you. Oh? Not taking part in the fun? Huh? huh? Are you gonna become a dandelion and fly away? Stop it. The dandelions aren't running away. Right. They're keeping light alive by passing it down to future wielders. That sounds noble, but aren't they really just leaving their friends behind? Who are you? Before we get to that, did you know that with that bangle of yours, you've not only been collecting dark energy, but using it for your own needs? What? That bangle gave you strength. Didn't you ever wonder where it was coming from? I don't believe you. Don't look so worried. Your master wanted this, don't you know? You're wrong. The bangle was meant to collect dark energy so it could be transformed into light. Then why am I here? Why do I exist? The master knew all along what would happen. Hmm. Now, to answer your question from before. I was born from your darkness. I belong to you. That's not true. Why would I lie about this? I suppose that unlike Chiriki here, I'm not always by your side. I act of my own will. What are you doing? Since you are not participating in the war, I'll show you a dream you'll never forget! No! If you do belong to him, why are you doing this? Unlike you spirits, we nightmares exist to plant bad dreams. That's how we sever our bond to gain freedom. Spirits? And nightmares? You've gotten stronger. I'm impressed. <sighs> but that was just a warm up. Our bond's been severed. Will you disappear? For now. I'll see you in another dream. Another dream? He has to be here. This is the only place we haven't checked. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? I guess I was wrong. <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. I'll head back to Fountain Square. Okay, I'll keep searching. Hmm? What? Why?
Drelitzia. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Don't apologize. It's okay. I wish... The courage. I couldn't hear anything that was being said. I didn't know what was about to happen, what was about to unfold in front of us. The intensity in the air was overwhelming. Images and sounds were burned in my brain. There was no time to stop and think about why we were fighting, why our enemies were no longer monsters but each other. Our friends. But no matter how hopeless the situation, people will cling to the last shred of hope, the last piece of their dream, until the very end. It's not over. Not yet. You! I deemed you unworthy. What you lack in potential, I see you make up for in courage. I could use someone like you in my union. How unexpected! You've proven me wrong! You are indeed worthy! But that also means you pose a threat, and that is why you must disappear! Era! This ends now. I can still fight. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. I'll make this quick. I'm impressed, Ira. You did well with this one. You must make it through this. Hey, it's you. You don't look so good. Are you okay? Alright, here we go. Huh? 
<sighs> You're on a battlefield. You gotta fight. You're a lot tougher than I thought. Lucky for you, I'm not in the mood for a real fight. Maybe I'll see you around. No. Don't go. So it's you. I'll be merciful. It's a shame. You have so much potential. <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment, Ira. You. I will rebuild this world as the new leader and master. This is all you're doing. You destroyed the balance. Looking for you. Master Alva, why are you here? I thought you'd be guiding the wielders away. Eh? Ready your blade. Master Alva? I won't ask twice. I'm sorry. It's over! Why? Some things aren't for you to know. Listen to me. You must join the Dandelions and go far, far away from here. Master Ava. You did great. You can rest now, okay? Is it my time? Scold. Damien. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you broke <laughs> your promise. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're late. I know, but I'm here now. <laughs> We'll go together.
seems to have actually worked. <laughs> hmm. But now, where do they run off to? Well, no matter. Sora and those buffoons can't follow us here. There's nothing they can do to stand in my way. <laughs> I have seen it through. The Keyblade War, exactly as written on the lost page. Now the Keyblade the Master entrusted to me must be bequeathed to another. Five Union leaders have been chosen from the surviving Dandelions. I will pass the Keyblade to one of them, and then continue watching the future unfold. Yet it seems someone has pulled the old switcheroo. One of the five is an imposter, someone the Master did not choose. They represent a virus in the program he so carefully wrote. The virus has begun a strange undertaking, a reckless plot to allow the Five to escape into another world line. Surely such a thing can't be possible. We're talking about the same trick that allowed the Dandelions to transfer to other world lines after the Keyblade War. But these children are no masters. They haven't the means. Unless, of course, a certain Lady of Magic summoned here from the future knows more than I do. The whole Union Leader thing was supposed to be by the books. Are these new events just another phase in the Master's grand plan? Thank you for watching. Until next time.